get so those we put the clips out. out and then we tell people to listen. We don't actually ever put out an actual podcast for any of us. What is this on? Like, fucking, uh, you guys put this out on. Uh, hey, Argus, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> it's on the channel. Hold on. Is this on the radio? <laughs> no, it's on the internet. The internet? What channel? <laughs> what channel? I'm scared to talk now. No, no, you're <laughs> good. I'm terrified to talk. You're good. Oh. What happened here? <laughs> it's an any. Uh, yeah. That's just how the comments That's transition out. right there. It looks like my this. Yeah. yeah. It's punched. I actually found out like uh We're good? We're yeah, yeah, we're good. Oh never mind. I was No, no, go that. ahead. You found out. Oh, this can't go on. <laughs> uh, so I've been watching Naked Attraction. I found out that What's up? it's a show from England. It's a British show. Ugh, right. You lost me. What? Come hey, on. I go. love them. Oh, I no. love them. I love the they're, Brits. They're the best. They are they're the, the best. Worst. They're the worst so they're, people, but they're the best. They're the best. Yeah. Exactly. Bro, they took they almost took over the world. But anyways. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they raped my people and now my teeth hurt. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, your That's people got raped thing. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, never mind. All right, never mind. You guys hate the Brits. Okay, I take that back. So it's a show over the pond. Yeah. Uh where people Basically, they want to find love, but the way they do it is they have to see the person naked first. Ooh, and there's like this level change, idea. and these like these people are like in these like um I don't know these fucking cubes or whatever. Wait, so they see titties before they see the face? No, they, they see yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. They, the first thing they see is vag or dick. Yeah. Right. Oh, I took they some, see vag or like dick this. first. Yeah. And then it raises up. So, but they eliminate someone each time. They're like, oh, I don't really like the vagina, uh, or I don't really like that wiener. Has there been anyone who's like? I'm. I need that dick smaller. Is there a smaller dick? <laughs> Look, all the black dudes have the biggest. No, no way. Champions. What? I know. I've never heard Wait, that before. <laughs> oh, you fuckers! So I odd. can't believe you guys are fucking kidding me. <laughs> so anyways, on. there was. The, the, here's where I was getting to though. Welcome back to the Comedy Store Podcast. <laughs> Get it right here. Podcast. Black dicks are bigger <laughs> and better. Wait a minute. So anyways, <laughs> they had a. There was a, a transgender, a male that went to female that was on the show. Yeah. And he was picking. Hey, before was, we move on, <laughs> could you give us your specific opinion on transgender people? No, I'm not doing Look it. Look into all the cameras. Right, and right in the them camera. As you guys being. are amazing. Wow. Or women. Yeah. Or, women? Wow. Just women? Wow. <laughs> no, no, wait. No, okay. no, no. The, the, every one of you. <laughs> Man, all right. Genderism. So, I love it. Welcome back to Canceled. <laughs> um, all right. So. Well, you got to hear the, wait, so the the transgender was. Picking, picking, got yep. it. Okay, and so they were picking people, and uh, and they do these like little uh, random facts in between, like each like time someone gets eliminated. Okay, and they were saying like because it went from male to female. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to say it. No, no, you're good. <laughs> about right <laughs> uh, listen if you're well, listening to the county store podcast nothing has offended you yet on the show so far you're an today asshole. And if you're a new listener what in god's name are you doing here right, anyways so the, the wiener gets shoved in right and and, and and that person had to get naked too so i saw their vagina and it looked like a real vagina Right, but I knew in the face mm -hmm. there was dudes. So right? you would, you would get in there. No, I'm so, asking. So, <laughs> would, would you f if the vagina looked really good? How did we really get good, to you? <laughs> Which five o'clock right, shadow, like, <laughs> yeah. shadow was worse? It looked like it looked. Which five o'clock shadow was worse? What if the, what if it was a good looking vagina, but then it looked like Larry Bird? Ooh, that's a white. That's a white. I love white women. <laughs> yeah. And that's all I can get. <laughs> and Larry, pretty yeah, talented. I know, just yeah. Funny to look but at. Anyways, so what happens? The any goes in. <laughs> Hold on. I, all right, go on. We'll, you know what? We'll wrap up the whole podcast. Yeah, you know. Thank you guys for tuning in answers. today. Is, so the any, the, so that they they shove the wiener up, like yeah. far up, and, yeah. they, and that person can still get off from that if they're being like penetrated. Oh, like the yeah. cock can still get erect the still inside. Sensation. It won't. I don't know if it'll get erect. I don't know if they said that, oh, but, uh, but still has the sensation. But it has the sensation and can and they can finish. Oh, yeah. Did you guys know that? I'm good. <laughs> uh, so you can get themselves. So are you gonna do what? it or? No, <laughs> Just like if you have your finger, I thought maybe we were about ready to. No. You got if a you question? have your finger, like say you have your finger in their ass. Oh, this podcast is dirty. I don't no, care. so so you're penetrating the tra your the cock is inside. Yeah. So now you're inside the cock, which is yeah. a whole new level of sex. Yeah. And then you have a finger in the ass. Then they shoot. Can you feel it from the finger in the? I don't ass? know. I don't do that. Oh. I was just saying. I thought you. Knew I'm pretty. Something. I'm pretty conservative in the sexual world. I didn't mean to say conservative. Damn. What yeah, does that I'm mean? pretty liberal. Oh, really? So you're saying 
<laughs> you're telling these you're people right now. You're with the whites and missionary. Is that, that what you're telling us? That your penis us? leans to the right. That's what you're saying? <laughs> He's got a hook. <laughs> Classic. Black, black penises don't lean. They just fucking go. They Classic go. Classic podcast go. drifter yeah. trying to pick up that yeah. Rogan crowd. <laughs> Guys, my special's coming out. I'm excited. It comes out March 1st. March 1st is called No Country for Old Women. It's going to be on the Comedy Store YouTube channel. Um, and it's Women's Month, so you have to support it. And it's comedy, and it's funny, and so why not? I was excited to record my special here at the comedy store because one I was a waitress here for so long and then I left and came back a year later a year and a half later as a comic because I suffer from mental illness so you must support or you don't support mental illness right so my special is called no country for old women and I recorded it in the original room which happens to be my favorite room in the whole wide world and one time I was uh, really upset about not getting an audition and I remember I went to the great Paul Mooney and he said uh the minute you book something is when you walk in the room the way you walk in the original room. And that's why I recorded it in the original room, because that is when I walk in there, I feel like I'm in my house. And so I want you guys to watch it and see it. And I think you're going to love it. Why are you guys in Philly so fucking nuts? That's who we are. Got a problem like, with that? No, I don't have a problem okay, with it. I'm think just thinking because so. I'm from Arizona and like we're not as crazy. Sure. I mean, we're the wild, wild west. Are you? Know? you? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Are they? That felt... <laughs> I just worked in Phoenix. Eleanor. It didn't feel wild It's not all, all Scottsdale, all right? <laughs> I know. It was, it was Phoenix. It was... Where were you? The Four Seasons? Yeah, yeah right? I Eleanor. I was trying to, I was trying to get... You, know? haven't, you haven't seen Tombstone? Yeah. Yeah, that's what... That's us. Okay. You, I've seen it. It's You've pretty seen good. It? It's us. It's that's, that's who Arizona it's is. It's great. Yeah, you I can love turn Doc that Holiday. That would be my guy. Who? Doc Holiday. Oh, that's that my favorite. I'll be I have his a painting. Huckleberry. I have a really? painting of it, yeah. Wow. Eleanor, would you my fuck Val Kilmer still? Be honest. Uh, I think he talks with a robot now or something. I'm uh, sorry, yeah, what? Yeah, he, uh, he... I think it's like, Eleanor, come over here and <laughs> feel my like that, mad really. Like AI? Like, yeah. No. I think oh. he's, like, yes. I think he's like Stephen Hawking now. Okay, okay. <laughs> I am the ice man. Without that extra talent. <laughs> okay. Um... But you know, his, I'm good. His I'm, real I hate that one though. Because so <laughs> that's not what he. From what I heard, Val what Kilmer's you? wheelchair comes equipped. He with doesn't a, have a wheelchair. He's not in a wheelchair. It has he, an octopus what fucker. To him? 8, he had, I think he got. I think he got throat cancer. Yep. Off of meeting a lot of puss. Yeah. Is that what the? Ha that's, that's what happens. What they oh, I did learn on Naked he is Attraction. The ice man. I did learn on Naked Attraction. If you eat a lot of ass, like you can get E. coli. No shit. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, hepatitis. Uh -huh. What is it? A, B. Which Sleep one? Sleep a lot of Asians, you get COVID. No, I'm kidding. I, yeah. That's so racist. If you eat at Applebee's, so you racist. can get it too because there's dirty ass motherfuckers at Applebee's. <laughs> and that's why today's episode is sponsored by Chili's. Come on Wait. down to Chili's and Torrance. I just thought about something. You said Applebee's. Yeah. My first time when I lost my virginity. Nice. It in Applebee's. Right. It was from uh, a girl I met at Applebee's. Ooh. Man. All in that same a night. A waitress. Beautiful in, she was not a waitress. She was Arizona? sitting at the bar in Arizona. So you, you walk into was she America's a wife? favorite neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> is that what they say? Na the neighborhood. Well, wasn't that Applebee's slogan? I've never something been to about, an Applebee's. Do you know what it is, Tom? Neighborhood. Getting in the good. Something like that. Oh, Neighborhood uh, Grill. Neighborhood Grill. I've never been in one. Yeah. yeah. you never been in one? Mm -hmm. Applebee's. We got them all over Arizona. That? Yeah, that's... You got them all over Kansas. In Kansas, we had a lot of them. They, Come they on. Would, they we would decorate that shit nowhere with, like, Philly. high school yeah. football jerseys. And... Yeah, I can't imagine. They might have them in, like, Center City or in the suburbs yeah. somewhere, but I've never yeah, seen them really... in Philly. Do we have Eating them in Eating good Philly? in the neighborhood. Eating good in the neighborhood. Man. That's the slogan right there. And it's yeah. like, they literally have, like... There's probably Maybe seven or eight different kinds of food, and all of them are a four Apple on the ten scale. I've but, gotten the same thing there every time. I've never done, really. I've never branched out. It was always boneless wings and mozzarella sticks. Hilarious. I always got when I, in the nineties when the times were good. Yeah. I always <laughs> I always got the uh, the club croissant. And I thought, this is the fanciest thing I'll ever eat. It was just a wow. club sandwich on a croissant. On a croissant, but a croissant is good. And and that Applebee's croissant, obviously, top of the line. 
Top. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not Costco. Then they got rid of it. Oh, wait a minute. It might be. It was probably, there was a Sam's Club in the same parking lot. Yeah, for sure there was. Of the Overland Park Applebee's. Overland Park, that's where you're from? That that's the city next to where I'm from. That's so, where all the shit is. I know a fun fact about Overland Park. All right. Oh. That's where the Pillsbury Doughboy guy is from. And he has a mansion out yeah, there. You really the do like the white. The little the little do- <laughs> Eleanor. You take it far. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't listen. So I, there's a, you know on, where the Pillsbury let me give you a fun Doughboy fact. Let me give you a fun All fact. Right, I'm there's a fucking Doughboy hanging out a win- window, and you can see him from the freeway from the dude's mansion. He's got a big Doughboy. Look, you, how'd you do that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me? Yeah. Type in Pillsbury Doughboy looking through the window. Listen, I've been from. Oh. I've been from Kansas City for 42 years now, <laughs> and no one's ever even mentioned the Doughboy. You didn't to know me. that? No. Bruh, I just learned everything about cities. We got a Rocky statue. So, Which is like, why did you guys dude, do that? Back me up here. All right, yeah, you're is right. Rocky not one of the most bullshit movies of all time? <laughs> bullshit. Fuck like, both you of you. Watch bullshit. It, whoa, whoa, whoa. You watch it's it. the same religion. The fact that it got people that hype. I mean, I get it. I, I watch you don't it, like, like it at all. Uh, you don't like it at all. Uh, Rocky Four is fine because anything that is about to Beat destroy the, the Soviet Union is fantastic. Period. <laughs> oh, yeah. But oh, yeah. He with t- that being he said, he single handedly took it down. <laughs> the Soviet I mean, charge. if anybody can do it, uh, yeah. it, was, it would be Rocky. The whole time people said, How are we going to end the fucking yeah. Cold War between America and Still the long. Soviet Union? Yeah. Oh, easy. Italians. St- yeah. Stallone, he we need Italian. we need someone with even more machismo than these two fucking alphas. <laughs> there oh, it is. Stop it now. Stop it. You can see that from the freeway. Listen, that's that's I, the creepiest. This is haunting. You know what you know where that outdoor mall like, is? This is like the ghost and three men and a baby or I mean, whatever. It's it was. terrifying to see that. His that windows are thing. dirty. What the fuck? Yeah, it's terrifying to see that damn thing looking out the window. But when I saw it, I was like, I felt like a kid again. You know, it was kind of dope. Yeah. Did he get canceled? Do people not buy Pillsbury anymore? The, Why are his windows the, so bad? The Pillsbury <laughs> doll uh, masturbates oh, no. Those are shit towards the windows. highway. He looks like he's biscuits. in prison. What? I just can't believe you don't know about your state like that. No, and they never taught me about the Pillsbury Doughboy. Oh, fucking, when I went to Philly, you know what they taught me about? <laughs> fucking Wawa. I don't even want to ask. Yeah, oh. they really love oh, that wait, Wawa. Okay. Yeah, I was Wawa, like. Wawa, that's nice. That's nice. It's, it's like, it's nice? Like, <laughs> that's nice. It could have been worse. So the like, way you said it, I was like, what did we do? But they think it's great because they have crappy hot food. I'm going to tell you this. It's It's, the worst. When you're in a pinch and it's the middle of the night. Is it really cheap there or something? It's it's reasonable. I wouldn't call it cheap, but it's reasonable. And it's 24 hours. And we were in Florida. They have them in Florida now. Yeah. And it was nothing open because I don't know why. It was like midnight. And I'm like, fuck, everything closed. It's like, is it? Yeah. You didn't have COVID. Why are you playing with these rules, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was, we were pissed. We couldn't find anything. We went to Wawa, and I just got, like, a turkey sandwich, nothing on and I got ham and che- for my boss, and then I got ham and cheese, and then that was it, and it was great. You yeah. liked it? It was fine. There's no way in hell It was I'd just fucking... ham and cheese. You get a little oil vinegar, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper? Yeah, you don't like um, hoagies? <laughs> I don't eat meat. Damn, they whitewash this shit. No, out of that's you. not a white person Man. thing. You just said you eat wings. <laughs> you just said you eat wings at Applebee's. That was a long time ago. That was well, before they got you. The before they got me. <laughs> that was in the 1900s when his soul was. When free. I was in Africa, I was eating the boneless wings. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> and then they came over and took me. All right, so when when I was the fucking English, when I was on tour, <laughs> I was the only white, and I. Uh-huh. What uh, city? I would order, How'd that feel? At all the cities. All the cities, yeah. <laughs> and, all the and so cities. I, I would order... He's talking about on the tour itself, not yeah. people who came. Got so it. It was, it, yeah, it's me and Chris and then the, the tour crew, all the people who yeah. did all the stuff. And so we would always order chicken from places, and I would get fucking boneless wings, and then they would give me shit about <laughs> how it's a, so a, a white person thing, and I can't even eat the meat off bones... I can't. And I'm I, telling you, I'll, I, I'll say I don't want to eat meat and I can't on eat a it. bone, period. Same. Yeah, that Same. is my thing. Same. Bro, especially when you like <laughs> eat it. Yeah, you eat it sometimes and you get a little string. Well, uh, you know what I'm yeah. talking about? You yeah. don't eat meat. The tendon. I won't now. Yeah, yeah, you're fucking done with it. But uh, my friend, my best friend, she fucking I hate sucks animals. it. She would suck so. it. The thing I think is important. She would important. suck the bones, and I'm like, she would oh, suck the bones. Yeah, used to make us. If we don't, if we don't savagely. Murder these animals. Wow. Keep like them this. in keep, confined keep them spaces yeah. and then murder them for consumption. 
they're gonna Consumption. they're gonna think we're not okay. in charge I anymore. Like this. So Listen. it's either us or them. So right now on the Comedy Store podcast, we're taking a stand. <laughs> eat the animals, otherwise they'll eat us. Right. Listen, I went to one He's of those. He's not helping. That's why he I'm probably watched the documentary right set up. I went to by a, the, uh, one of those pig uh, the cyber houses. left. Oh yeah, it's terrible. I went to it. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. How was the? I felt bad that How I was, was there. The How was the pulled pork? That's, <laughs> I'll get it fresh. And it smelled so bad outside. I felt bad that I was there in general. Yeah. Because there was all these people like protesting outside the slaughterhouse, like a lot of these vegans. <laughs> but listen. And I felt bad because how long? When did I really, they stay when I, this is this is why I felt bad about it. Because I didn't go to any Black Lives Matter right. <laughs> protest at all. But did you stand? And with I'm them? sitting here with these pigs, like. I can't be here. I just felt bad that I was there, and I was like, I didn't go to any. Did you go to Black Lives Matter protest? What? Did you? Yeah. No, you didn't. No, you 100%. Didn't. I don't believe the whites uh, when they said they were there. I also, I rode a bike I from when I really think about Third it, Street all the way up to Hollywood Boulevard, all the way around down to La Cienega, back did? down to Third. Yeah. Well, I didn't. Need, I didn't need to be there. I just wanted to see what it was. I want to see what they're up to. <laughs> she was just riding by like, what is it? what's the commotion? Are they I'll tell you why. What are they yelling at? She's going the opposite way. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's what's going wrong with her? Keep I'll tell you why I did it. Yeah. Because, I, yeah. one, I am a racist. But two, <laughs> I, I really just, everybody was like, oh, they're ruining everything. They're tearing this city up. Yeah. So I went out and I was like, what is, all right, let's see what's happening. And it was, a bunch of like young kids just, just walking, fucking walking, and yeah. they had they were giving each other like Gatorade and waters because it was hot, mm -hmm. and I, I was like, "Whoa, this is nice. Maybe I'm missing something." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah that, that's, that is what they were promoting. The bad shit, mm -hmm. but they were only promoting the bad shit. Definitely, yeah. the bad shit was happening. But there was a lot of beautiful pockets. shit. It was yeah, that was amazing. So I, I was appreciate like, you telling me because I'm felt a like an asshole. I was like, "All right, I gotta stop watching the news because this is bullshit." Yeah. These kids, and it was young. They were all young, mm. all mixed, mm -hmm. all everybody mixed. Um, a bunch of people from the store went. I remember like Punky Johnson and all them. But I I didn't find them. That's how big the crowd yeah, yeah, yeah. was. And I was just riding a bike down. I saw a bunch of people I knew, but yeah, and we just all walked around. Like, I mean, I was riding a bike. But. So, can I have this story so I can tell yeah, people? Yo, I was there. Absolutely, I was there. I, I rode my bike, bike yeah, yeah. around, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is beautiful. Oh, there, there's no fighting." I think you could take <laughs> that one, one easy. argument because no, yeah. no one is going to talk to her. And get <laughs> yeah, yeah, no one, no one's going to believe me. They're like, "You were there looking for cock." Yeah, you, you know? think they would believe yeah. that I was at a fucking pig slaughterhouse? You were at a different kind of pig party. <laughs> <laughs> pig, bro. Sorry, pigs. <laughs> You were seeing how the pigs were slaughtered. <laughs> they roll up. It's crazy. They roll up in there like these big ass trucks. I was in the one that was getting slaughtered by the pigs. So <laughs> I was in the different march. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. That, that works. Oh, shit, no, that shit. works well because I got this Ice Cube shirt on. Ice. What's up with him? No, because he he's there. got fucked the police. Come on now. You Wait, was that? It. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. Fuck yeah, the police, see? but I didn't put two. I, I don't know. I know I, listen, not everything about me is fucking whitewashed. Okay, I mean this is perfect. Fucking ask me, ask me some black questions. Ready, set, go. Uh, I got a hot take. Uh, <laughs> some people are saying that the song "Fuck the Police" was about Sting and his band. You know, <laughs> wow. Is that true? Is there any truth behind that? I believe that? that's true. Has anyone else heard about I bet Ice Cube doesn't I'll send like in that's so <laughs> yeah, the, that's, That was the follow-up. Yeah, to was, yeah that was the response. <laughs> was SOS. Oh, oh, an SOS. Send in okay. an SOS. <laughs> hey, let I, the I fellas know. I'm you. Compton. <laughs> Shut up, Sting. <laughs> Fuck the police. <laughs> <laughs> it's about us, guys. I'm telling you. That's great. Sting's furious. I wish it was. I wish it comes out. Oh, that would, that would have been the best. So incredible. If you're the watching. Real music feud. Straight out of Compton and and they're like, how, how great of a beef would that be, though? Yes, yeah, because we had the Tupac Biggie shit. But if it was NWA and fucking yeah, Europe and Inglewood, come on, <laughs> Compton, whatever. The police. All right, who do you right. think's winning though? Uh, hello, British History. guy. Come on, those dudes. History. Are gonna... What's going to be weird is that not only would the police win that war, mm -hmm. but the way the British always do, they would just she... wipe it clean, and you would never yeah. even have heard of NWA. That's right. And then That's everybody right. would be speaking with an accent. With All an of their accent. albums would be st stolen in the night, <laughs> and they would be removed from existence. Yep, absolutely. The British way. The British way. I love Brits. Uh, I, I might have, I have to go check and Shut see if I'm up. Shut the fuck up. Who... They, 
Should we? Wait, when are you up? I think Brian's right here. We can take. Yeah, well, I just have a hard out at nine thirty. You have a hard out at nine thirty, but don't worry. If he You're leaves, we'll room. stay. Yeah, I'm supposed to be up so at that we nine, can make so. awkward eye contact. Yeah, um, just yeah. So that's what we'll do. Like if he runs out. No way. You really gonna leave us like that? It might it'll, happen. It'll, it'll, it, might it might happen. happen. If it happens. See what the fucking, the white Comedy store. No, it's not the white. It's not the white. comedy store. It's how okay, we do it. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We're kind of messy here. Um, They've been trying to make it a corporate We're, business yeah, I for just, a while. I, I just got past here. We don't Congratulations. even. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah, we don't even know if anything's recording right now. <laughs> <laughs> this, what if it just fucking this was? This might be a conversation. Trust me, we've just had floating, it happen. Just floating in the air. It seems more we professional have literally than had past producers. Yeah. But we've ha we've probably done six episodes that ended up just being an hour and twenty minute conversations. You and know my you know my favorite part of the podcast? What? The picture they have for you. Have you listened to the podcast? Or I listen. I I'm a frequent listener. Really? Wow. Did you listen? I'm, to Okay. No. No. The... No, no, no. No. I did it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm let's, sorry. let's have the viewers send in a few questions face? about the history of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We're still on history of black people. Fucking oh no! Let's do the history of the comedy right, store. Is way more fun. At the comedy store. <laughs> oh, easy. I got this. Really? Um, yeah. Let's just cut to Guy Tori's documentary, and they'll just pretty much cover it. <laughs> yeah. oh, Not a great history. Racism. <laughs> well, the comedy store documentary is the one that fucked up. They left out. The blacks. The whole Fat Tuesday era. Even though I believe we both talked about Listen, it. I don't know if you did. I know I did for again, sure. I know you did. Only because, I'll tell you why, because it kept the club open. Yeah. For a long time. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. the only show that had people. I, so it, it was the first time that I was regularly threatened as a now human that, being. I could and that's an exciting that's, thing to, yeah. to finally be a part of. Where I'm just like, oh, no one respects me at all. Uh, guys, you can't it was come through pretty here. Tough. Yeah, well, well, you gonna stop us? Uh, well, I guess not. <laughs> down the hallway. Right down the uh, hallway there. All right. Well, we're gonna keep it rolling. Uh, so anyway, listen. The point is, uh, <laughs> Rick's gonna come back down. We'll probably Rick's, your heart Rick's out is nine thirty. Thirty. Okay. Yeah, nine thirty. So, all right, well, yeah, now, yeah, now back to us. Let's uh, make the contact. Uh, <laughs> uh, is it cool if I sit like this? I like yeah. it. Okay, cool. Face me. Stare at my puffy I know. cheek. It's I love. The, I love the dentist. Oh, you, I wait love a the dentist. Shut the you, fuck up. You want to know why I love? The, yeah, I, I tell people this all the time. You want to know why I love the dentist? Because it gets rid of the fucking pain. Like when you go but in there, and you got and you got tooth pain. They, they oh, didn't. They, what do they got to do to it? I'm taking antibiotics. There's nothing they can do. I think it came from a sinus infection. Like it just got, you know, messy around here. Yeah. I, I don't, I never understand it. But my teeth, always a problem. And as a really? kid, uh, my mom, uh, we didn't have money. And so she took you us to the- You don't say in Philly? Comedy <laughs> yeah, hilarious. <laughs> they took us to the, the, the school dentist, like dentist school. To get my teeth done. Oh yeah, because they do it for free. Because they're all course. trying to learn. Yeah, yeah. So that every that's five how you guys minutes, would get your teeth. Well, at least that's where I went because mine were so bad that my mom was like, "All right, we can only take one kid," <laughs> and she had ten. So oh, yeah, I forget you got ten like that. Yeah, and I'm, I'm number eight. So she was like, "This kid's." I mean, I'll show you a picture. You'll be like, "Oh, she yeah." I look your, like, your teeth were that crazy. I look like, uh, "Hey, you guys!" Like that guy. <laughs> Yeah. So why couldn't you say his name? I don't remember it. Sloth. Oh, thank you, because I blocked it out. Because that's what you look. Like, like. You good? You had to do the whole. Yeah, I put his picture next to mine with my teeth <laughs> a couple times. <laughs> I, um, somebody was like, "Were you chewing rocks as a baby?" I just yeah. What was going I, on? I just was born with the bad teeth. Like, uh, oh. not everybody has them in my house. Actually, my brother Charlie. It's a British thing. Yeah, I know. They raped our ancestors, and so it's in there. My mom always so, says that. So, the teeth is so it's just trickling down. Thanks, guys. Uh, but we're Irish. Yeah. So then with that, that's doubling down. Yeah. Right? And my mom always says we have a little English in us, and I'm like, I know how yeah. rape works. So we, uh, like, that's the thing, I think. But my mom doesn't have bad teeth. She doesn't? Mm -mm. It's my dad's side. Oh, so God. Somebody it. must have got it hard. And both, are, both of your parents are Irish. Yeah. Yeah. Both of my white parents are Irish. Yeah. It's crazy. They're nice people, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they're the great. The Irish, a little crazy, but I love them. A little crazy. Them. A little crazy. I, uh, I don't know much about I was going to... I thought I knew something about Irish, but I don't. What do you mean? I was going to try to see if I knew any fun facts. About, oh, the Irish in general? Or Yeah. 
I feel bad that I don't know strongly. Well, the only I was going to say, my brother Charlie has a problem with his teeth, but he also Charlie? drinks. So there's yeah, a Charlie. It's Charlie because so we're in not, Arizona, let me we say, say this: we're not the royal fucking family. <laughs> I don't call him Prince Charles, right? His name's Charlie. You're in Philly. You call somebody Charlie, they're going to ask you to leave. <laughs> There was a bar called Charlie Bears. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> to get it in too. We just dropped the R. It's I don't know why. Charlie. Charlie. I'm glad I grew up in Arizona. Say the name. Charlie. 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 That's why I'm glad my I grew up in Arizona because you guys all fucking talk crazy. Charlie. Oh, like, my dad, I have one of his jackets and it's spelled C-H-A-L-E-Y. Why do you guys Charlie. do that? Why Because we're weird. We like our things the way we like it. Why you got beef with it, man? I ain't got beef. Okay. I just think, why can't we just? You know what it's. You know what it's written. You saw the. You see the letters. You want to spell your name? S H A P E L. Mm-hmm. I'm Shape. supposed to be okay with that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> moving on. <laughs> We're really gonna play this game. Bitch? <laughs> You know Can we get Rick back in there? <laughs> yeah, when I'm hurt and I'm angry, yeah, it's like I'm, I'm uncomfortable now. I, I feel like I'm I have daggers in me, so I apologize. No, I love I, okay, I, I love I you. Be so a real twat. You're, you're one of my fit. You what's crazy about doing this pod? Mm -hmm. And I say this all the time. You and Rick are my favorite people to be on shows with. Oh, really? One thousand percent. Oh, I love that. And I love following you guys. You guys are like my favorite follows. Okay, yeah, Rick's a beast. Because you guys, you guys fuck up the crowd so yeah. much <laughs> in such a way that I'm like, bro, give it up for the white bullies. <laughs> Like fucking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You have done that to me, and I'm yeah. like, you fucking right. We yeah, are, and it's know? like <laughs> the white police. <laughs> <laughs> the way you just took down these straight dudes and just like, it then ended up just calling them gay. <laughs> And they they were looked at each other like were they wearing a sweater vest? Like, yeah, something what was like that. It? What happened? Yeah. That something has to come up. It was fucking. Do. It was hilarious. And they, oh. they just looked. And I went up on stage and followed you. And they looked like their souls. <laughs> just said, and you're like, bye. I'm Eleanor Kerrigan. I'm like, what the fuck? Maybe that's why I don't have followers. <laughs> So I'm like, hey, follow me. They're like, no, hilarious. no, we're afraid of you, you sicko. They're like, I know you guys are hooking up with each other, and they're like. <laughs> We're just friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were from Texas. I remember that too. Oh, yeah. I got a good Steers memory. Steers and queers. Steers like and it. queers. Texas. I love yeah, Texas. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love Texas. I used to live there. Wait, okay. I so cheered in college out there. You went to college there? Yeah. Where'd you go? I, I cheered at a, a community college you, out there. I'm sorry. I, I didn't quite hear that. Say that again? <laughs> My, I've been on a lot of meds. Did you say I cheered? <laughs> I'm just asking. You didn't know that? No. Yeah, I cheered. Like told you, that's my best friend right there. Rick. We cheer, we, <laughs> you're like, ah. wait, you're saying he cheered as well? Yeah, well, that's how we met. It's my best friend of like 20 okay. years. I see his earrings. Yeah, uh, you see his earrings. Shut the fuck. Still got your pom poms. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. So really, you cheered? Like, yeah. For like tw I did it for like 12 years. I started at 15. I think I did it all the way to like 27, oh. something like that. I was going to say, how'd you get into stand-up? But I don't even think I have to ask that question. I got into stand-up because of cheerleading. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> and I got into cheer because of a, of a girl. Really? Yeah. Did you get to pick him up and do the thumb move? Or? <laughs> Eleanor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's the only reason. You I know what's so funny? It's always dudes that ask me that. It's never any female <laughs> that asks that. Can you pick me up? Yeah. I love it. And yeah. you can throw me around because I used to be a wrestler. So I'm not. Oh, yeah. I forget. You used to be, you used to be a wrestler. Mm -hmm. We have opposite lives. Yes. Extreme. What the, <laughs> who the fuck are we? I don't know. You're Philly so, wrestler. I'm Arizona. Arizona by cheer. way of Texas. So what college it was called, gives you a cheering scholarship? It was called Trinity Valley Community College. <laughs> community. I hate you so you went, much, wait a minute. You hate me? You went to Texas for a community <laughs> college? I mean, I love it, right? But it was a really good school. Okay, I believe you. They had great, uh, great uh, Cheers. business. <laughs> the business program at this school. Wait, so is that what your major was? No, oh, I majored I in know. fucking Pom -pom? cheerleading. Yeah, <gasps> no I didn't way. even go to school for anything. I went because I could cheer. That is so fucking funny. Like, do you, like well, I was a cheerleader for an hour. For. <sighs> I wanted uh, because I wanted to play football, but the boys were like, "When are you ever going to be a girl?" So I was like, "What? I got to be a girl?" Like, I you didn't, wanted to play football? Oh, I was a quarterback. I was, I played a padded football league. I was insane. See, I looked at football. And I was, I was like, good. I was like, this is fucking 
I'm still good. My nephew's still, I mean, they break my balls, but yeah. I can throw. Really? And so I always play steady QB. Actually, I saw you throw a football yeah, in the parking I'm lot. No problem. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You fucking. I'm <laughs> and then I was like, don't throw it to me. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I, no, I, I would have thrown it at you had I known you were a cheerleader. I. <laughs> but I was really good. <laughs> no, I believe that. So. Fuck you. <laughs> I know I do. I don't know why. I believe you. I, I just think I don't want to make fun of it. I think it's. I think Make it's interesting. It. No, I mean it's so easy. It's like so a easy. joke. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're so right. So I, I want to. I'm curious. So how'd you get into that? Because of a girl, I had a crush on her. So you, you have a crush on this girl. You're yeah. like, I got to get my thumbs in her ass. Uh, <laughs> yep. How can I do that? <laughs> I don't, I didn't want my thumbs in her ass. I just wanted to fall in love. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Even your best friend went. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> You fall in love with I have this. a heart out at 9 30. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what time it is. Uh, so I can't believe Rick's not here for fucking pom pom. Um Ra Ra Shish Kabah. <laughs> is that is that a here? No, it's not a fucking I, chair. I remember that Ra Ra Shish Kabah, we get a touchdown. Ha ha. Yeah, yeah, I think okay. that's that's probably one. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I was I, I'm telling you, I, there was one yeah. I was missing my front tooth because I lost yeah. it by just getting holding hit a in the football face like what the football. fuck? Yeah, what's up? One of the older kids threw it real hard and called my name and I turned and hit me right in the face and it no knocked fucking my tooth way. up. Yeah. So you like years, Charlie. Yeah, I was like, yo, cha ah, Charlie. Shit. Fucking Charlie. <laughs> what so you thought you made fun of the cheerleaders? No, I didn't. We used to steal their pom-poms, but I'll tell you this. Us? I'll tell you what I did do. So my mom made me cheer, and I was it was all you white hated girls. It, huh? Yeah, it was terrible. It was all white girls. And, I mean, we were in an Italian neighborhood, so there yeah. was a little bit of flair, but, like, it was, like I said, rah, rah, shish kebab. Yeah, yeah. So then we would play, uh, like, a black team, whatever. The projects were on the other side of the playground, so yeah. if we were playing... So and then other neighborhoods would come in and they play against them and the black girls cheering was fucking sick, awesome. Yeah. So me and my best friend Robert were like, we want to be with them. And then it was like, it was, I was like, oh, I'm learning how to fucking dance. Yeah. I have to sing the uh -huh. rhythm. Yeah. Right. So this one girl and I'm gonna say we were 11, and she did this cheer. <laughs> this is so bad. But I don't remember all of it. I just remember one part and she was like, Liz, it do my pussy snap. <laughs> we were 11. And I was like, your pussy snaps? I don't even know where mine Liz, is. Liz, it my pussy snap. <laughs> and she would do the fucking big clap. Really? Like, so me and my best friend Robert... Well, I, I shouldn't disrespect him. He's transitioned into Raven, but oh, okay. he was gay. But he was my best friend yeah, in the world, yeah. like as a kid. And so we did it all day. We were like, uh -huh. yes, it's little <laughs> And everybody hated us because we just would try to First incorporate all, them in as the an white girl cheers, and they were like, "We're not doing that." We never oh, did God. anything like that as kids, huh? <laughs> like we never thought like that. That's you, Philly fucks. I guess you I guys know. are just so like whatever. We we yeah, because we're at eleven going on thirty eight. You know, yeah, like, eleven going on thirty eight. <laughs> we all lived in the fucking streets, whatever. Like it yeah. was the eighties. Did she 90s. have kids already? <laughs> yeah, no, eighties, eighties, not nineties. <laughs> I'll be dead within the hour. Wait, uh, well, you was in. Uh, Elementary school in the eighties. Yeah, I was born in eighty seven. Oh, okay, thanks. So rub it in. Oh no, uh, it's cute. It's fine. No, that was all care. love. That's I'm happy all love. to be out of here soon. That's um, love. That's just, just <laughs> well, showing. I'm saying you. like that was that was the cheers we were doing like these little corny yeah, ass not cheers. So what did you guys do? Not that. No pussy snaps. No, we didn't have no pussy there snaps. There was another one. You take my eel, my uh, my galada galada, I don't, and I just remember the. <laughs> We're kids. Take I'm not doing any galada, cheers. Galada. <laughs> my days are I retired. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm not I think do you should bring cheers. it back. No. Fuck I'll no. tell you this. If I have you, no desire to ever do that shit ever if, again. If you were here. He still does it. Oh, for real? Yeah, he's we're the same age. He's the 36. Earrings. The earrings? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you think Tommy's straight or gay? Uh let me see a sneaker. Well, look at his face. He went like this. <laughs> <laughs> Gay. <No. laughs> um, no, but I, I, there's a lot of gays in cheer. Uh, no, I don't know if you knew that. No. <laughs> Wait, did you guys not know that? I'm giving you guys knowledge. Everyone fucking knows that. I was a rarity. You were a rarity because yeah. you were straight. Yeah. Were you the only black? 
Hey, at most, there's probably two blacks. <laughs> I'm saying. On my team. I cheer for some white teams. Yeah, and I've, and I've seen, like, you know, I've all some black white. cheerleading uh, squads, yeah. men and women that do it competitively. For sure. I've seen that. I've seen, and for they're sure. always good. They're always, always really good. good. And I have watched fucking competitive cheer. Uh, my white schools were good. Some of them were. Bring it on where they stole from the black girl. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that's your back that's, in, back that's my big dollar. Yeah, yeah, but back sometimes in, it's on ESPN. They stole from the black girls. Yeah. <laughs> I would have done the same thing. That hurt. <laughs> I'm just saying, like it's just. Like, I should have fucking wrestled. I, I should have wrestled or something. What? Well, yeah, but you cheered, so and that gave you. So when after cheering, did I you hate get you. The, I'm sorry. Did but you? I get love you. The confidence to go on stage. <laughs> did you wear your cheer outfit? No, I don't wear no cheer yeah. outfit. Why would I wear a cheer Because it's tight and I want to see it. <laughs> it was. They were tight. <laughs> of course. Yeah. There was times I was walking out there. I'm like, bro, they fucking. My shit's just out. <laughs> yeah. You that's know? the only reason I watch Drumline on a loop. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder he has so many kids. You wow. talking about Nick Cannon? The movie? Yeah, remember Drumline? Yeah, I great love that movie. movie. Great I movie. I fucking love that fucking movie. Fucking great movie. I wish I was in that movie. Me too. I would have fucking but killed I it. played. Oh, probably nobody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking, yeah, you could have played the... I no, love it. actually, there was no white schools in no, that one. No, no, no. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, never mind, lady. <laughs> yeah. Uh-uh. Um, so wait, yeah, when did I find the confidence that's to go what I mean. stage? No, the, like, what made you transition? Like, okay. Transition? Let me get my... <laughs> it is a transition. <laughs> uh, let, me get, let me put my pom-poms down, and then I want to go on stage. Someone dared me to do try comedy. It's always a dare. Yeah. And it was in it Texas. It is? I, lot, every time, a lot of I, every people time, say it's a dare. Every time I hear people talk about comedy, they're always like, you know, I've always wanted to do it ever since I've seen Richard Pryor's special, blah, blah, blah. That's what I hear the most. That's I never hear, the craziest thing I've ever oh, heard. Oh, people say that shit all the time. You watch Richard Pryor and you go, I can do that. No. Get the I, fuck out of that's here. What I, I'm telling you, that's what people say. No, people are lying to you. Really? I agree. I don't. Someone I watch, dared me. I, that I believe. Yeah. Um, a dare... Uh, just, I, I believe uh, Leslie Jones said hers was a dare too at school, college. They were like, you should go up and do that, tell that story, yeah. or whatever it was. And then, or they signed her up for a competition. There's been about four or five, and I can't remember who exactly. It's all the black comics. No, we all get dared to do black. it because they're like, man, you're so funny. <laughs> get up there and see what man, happens. You get up there and see what happens. <laughs> they start throwing shit at you. They're like, this is funny. Do you think, man. How do you think every basketball player? I dare you to play basketball. <laughs> what? I should try it. <laughs> uh, who has that bit? I just heard a bit uh, about the only white players in the NBA are usually from uh, Europe because yes. they're the only ones that have the audacity. <laughs> they think of who said it. that? Fuck. I can't remember. It was a, a, a bit. It was just passing in the, oh. you know, those clips. So I, it could have been Shane Gillis. That's what I, that's, that was like my Shane first thought. Gillis. Yeah, because his clip, we do follow each other. Yeah, so yeah, maybe yeah. His, one of his clips. But it just made me laugh. Yeah, because I could hear him saying the audacity. The audacity. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he's Pittsburgh, Philly. Like it's, oh, yeah, you guys, <laughs> we wouldn't you, you, dare. You guys, you guys, you fucking, <laughs> you're all nuts. Mm -hmm. And we played, like I watched, uh, just watching a street game in South Philly. It, it was more dangerous than anything because the fights oh. that could flare up. I actually saw a guy bite a guy's ear off. Bef way before uh, Tyson, before Tyson? Did it. way before so Tyson, Tyson did probably it. saw him was like yeah and he spit it right at him and I was like I was, I was a I was on a big wheel I was like this is all right I'm going you were seeing that shit as a kid yep oh I've seen some crazy shit but yeah, we're not we gonna get into that like that in Arizona <laughs> no <It's> like, <laughs> not in that nice neighborhood you grew up in. no with it, was no Mayberry? when I was How I was, was Mayberry up in Mayberry <laughs> fuck man. <laughs> Did you ever get in trouble as a teenager? You know, me and Beaver, you know. We just, <laughs> I bet. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dennis the Menace, he was just. <laughs> he was wild. Hey, right? And my oh, friend Marsha. Like, she just, <laughs> he went with the brain bunch. <laughs> fuck just naming all the white you kids were with all the white You Marsha, weren't you? Oh, me? Yeah. My brothers were like, I would fuck Jan too. I'm like, oh my god, Jan. Yeah, I was the like, fucking creepy middle the, one. The maid? Oh no, <laughs> oh, the middle kid. Oh, the middle kid. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. No, Eve, Eve Plum, I think was her real name. I think she did some porn. No, was it the other one? The youngest one. Oh, was Cindy. Okay, Cindy. Somebody. Did. No, Cindy did new porn. She did. It was something She's weird. She's into drugs. Right, but I think Eve did some sketch. 
I remember the we name. Need to, we need to find this out. Eve Plum. Eve Plum. Sorry, Brady Bunch. You kind of raised me ish. My mom would be like, Just you know watch that house. TV. That house is here. Yeah, of course. You have seen it? Uh, I'm in pictures. I've never driven yeah, by. Yeah, it's in uh, Studio City. I don't City. want to. I don't want. I, I went. I went there my... and took pictures. Did you? I don't want to because it'll blow the image. I, I wanted to. It's I a beautiful was... house. Yeah, I was like, if, if that's a real thing, if and people, it looks the exact people really fucking same. live like that, that's amazing. No, no one lives there. No, no. In the mo in the TV show, oh, I'd yeah, be like, yeah. wow, people really yeah. live like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you this then, because like, so before I was adopted into the white family, like. I I grew up in like a poor neighborhood in Arizona. Mm. They exist, okay. I believe but, it. But. Okay, but like so, like you growing up poor and seeing like the fucking Brady Bunch freaked me out. How the fuck did I was that like, make that's you not feel? Real. By the way, right? I, th I also t thought everything took place in Jersey because that was the only place I ever saw grass. Really? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we have a football field across the street, but we didn't have it like in on our front. I forget. Yeah, that that uh, Jersey lawn. just over that. Yeah, bridge right there. over the bridge. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, if we went to like my mom had like from work somebody was having a barbecue and they would invite they would invite my mom and some of your kids really well yes she got to come got with fucking, 10 kids, yeah, 10 kids. <laughs> what a dick so she shows up these are all mine they're like we don't have enough food you grew up with all those fucking that's a lot yeah six you boys had, you got you had all those kids and no fucking money no and so we were out in Damn. the streets making money like uh, painting addresses, whatever you can think of. We used oh. to shine shoes. Me, and my brother. That's the last Billy. thing I was thinking. That as I you, asked my mom, as far as you guys were making money, <laughs> I asked my dad. No, I did ask my dad. I'm talking like eight, nine years old. Yeah, I because my dad left when I was like seven. So I asked him for. Did you come back? No, I asked my brother Billy for money. I mean, me and my brother Billy wanted money, so we asked my dad. We thought, all right, well, ask daddy. Mommy don't have yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. She's working eight jobs trying to. Daddy's got a typewriter yeah. store. I'm sure he's got something. <laughs> he's got a, he, oh, he had a typewriter store. That's yes, neat. wealthy. And <laughs> so we, I go, I go, and I asked him, and he gave us a shoe shine box. This motherfucker. He gave you a shoe shine box. So me and Billy went around and we shined shoes. And he was putting the wrong color on people's fucking shoes. We and you, almost and got you killed make, by these black guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. You, hey, you can't fuck with a black guy's shoes. Yeah. Plus we were little dirty yeah. white kids. So they were like, "The fuck is and that?" Listen, and listen, I know. Just I, go I, fucking running. I know I wear Vans, but like, you fuck with my Vans. Yeah, yeah. You're, at least fucking, you got that. You kept that. I'm fucking, proud of you. <laughs> all right. I have this story about uh, the Brady Bunch doing porn. Uh oh. Uh, it's not existent. You no. Know, yeah. Not really. Susan. Shit. Susan Olson. She was the youngest Brady. And she stated that her only porn connection was that her friend was a producer and she uh, oh. did some like sound effects on for the background noise. Yeah. What kind That's of it? what? Yeah, she like she says she stated, did the moans stated that her porn connection <laughs> was that she, <laughs> Marsha, Marsha. Was that she created <laughs> spaceship sound effects for a por porn film called Love Probe on the warm. Planet. Oh, so OK. So people just went and said somebody from the Brady Bunch did. You porn. got the wrong person. There is someone from one of those shows. It was from Family Matters. It was one of the daughters. It was a daughter that they had. That all they the had. Time. They, it was a daughter that they had on there that just randomly was not existent anymore. She did porn, and I, I think her name was Judy. The she, dad was like my favorite. Yeah, and she was I like the uh, the youngest kid of them. The one that Urkel used to chase around. No, that was Laura. But they had La a sister. Laura. This is this yeah, is crazy yeah. how TV shows used to be back in the day. Like you could just take someone off, and no one would fucking bat an eye about it. And they just took this. <sighs> Her character off, just took it off. Oh yeah, and she, she, she's black. You okay. see it? <laughs> she's black. Why would you say it like that? So they know. So they don't know, man. Family Matters, the pretty much black show. I know. Yeah. So you're right. Oh, right. Oh yep. shit! Was, see, I get. My, I know black history. I. You just don't march so for him. Judy, but I, <laughs> Judy from the Family Matters later uh, worked in adult adult films. Whoa. Yep. Wow. I never watched it. Family Matters? No, we did. The we adult did. film. Oh. <laughs> we watched Family Matters. Though. Yeah, I love Family Matters, mm -hmm. but I, I refuse to watch her do that. No. And it was somebody said Stallone did po a porn, Sylvester Stallone, and I know you guys were shitting on Rocky, and that's like our. Yeah, oh, yeah, didn't he? Uh, and, that was before he, like. Well, you don't have to be rude about it, but it was, she was trying to make money, and I would never watch it because I respect Okay, him. if you needed to make money, are you going to fucking do porn? Him. Hell yeah. No. Somebody would laugh. I'll do OnlyFans. You do OnlyFans? You yeah. would? No. Uh -huh. Right? It's fucking weird. <laughs> like, I could, I could I do that. I was going to do OnlyFans, put my feet on there. 
because people pay for feet. But I have like big feet and I have like long toes. So I was going to like help people cure them of their foot fetish because they'd see my feet and be like, you know, and they'd be like, we're good. We're good. Let's cancel. I never look at feet ever (laughs) again. (laughs) I'll be like AA for foot fetish people. (laughs) How do we get off? (laughs) You know how they have a drug to get you off drugs? My feet will get you off your foot fetish. You go to AA too? No. Oh, no? No, I don't drink. You don't drink at all. I mean, I I can drink. Well, I'm not good. I was at like, drinking. wait, yeah, I don't see. I don't think you do anything. I don't really. I just. I feel like you just live you just in sit this at home. Crazy brain. Yeah, I do, and I touch myself all day. That's what, yeah. Myself, no. Uh, and you listen to that song. When one? I think about you, I touch, touch myself. myself. Uh, what a crazy fucking song. Yeah, and that I, was a hit. I don't. Yeah, Tori. No. Nah, I don't know her fucking name. Fuck. What's that? What's that white girl name that sing that song? Not Tori Amos, right? She's no, it's not Tori Amos. I'll look into it. But uh, we have ten minutes. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. So the, the, okay, let's get at least to the comedy store. Now we're out of porn and my messing information yeah. up because I don't know. Well, how we to really use the veered off interweb, and <laughs> we really veered off. We did, but like, mm. well, I tried to get into. You got dared to go on stage. Mm-hmm. This is in Texas. No, that was in Kentucky. Fuck is happening? Yeah, because I because after you on Texas, the run? no. <laughs> You're like fuck. Everybody knows I'm a cheerleader. I gotta, get to Kentucky. <laughs> I gotta move to the next town. <laughs> the derby's happening. Let yeah. me get in there. I'll cheer for a horse. I got to yeah. I got to Kentucky by horse. And I'm just <laughs> 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 wait. So okay. So you're in Kentucky. What are you doing there? I was cheering at the university at uni. <sighs> We sure that uni. You got out of community college, went to a university. Well, actually, I was still going to community college, but the commu- the University of Louisville had a program okay. to where you could cheer at the university, <laughs> even if you were going to. The Do com- people know this story? Uh, Is your street cred going to drop? I'm just saying. No, people know this. Okay. Yeah, this, okay. yeah. He's like, no, nah, people know. Yeah, okay. people know. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, um, I don't care at all. Anyway, um, so yeah, Omar. I mean, uh, Omar. Shit, what's Chappelle? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's so mean. I hate you so much. <laughs> I want you to. Uh, no, so okay, so now you're in Kentucky. You do stand up, and now are you just bit by the bug? Like, oh that, yeah, I was, was addicted. It. You did it once. I dropped like, out of college, and I was like, "Shut up!" I said, "Fuck college," because it was. I mean, stand it was up, community, so it wasn't that big of a deal. <laughs> but you got out. A <laughs> university. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I fucking when I when I did stand up, I was like, I paid more attention to this than I ever did in school. Anything than Same. anything. So I was yeah. just like, "Why the fuck would I not do it?" And then I just. Took a fucking. What made you go to L.A. versus New York, or did you go to New York? No, I've never. I've actually never performed in New York. I've only been to New York. I've like, I've I've been to New York for like twelve hours. Oh, you know, shit. yeah, I've never really been to New York, okay. but L.A. because Arizona is just five hours right. away. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, and I don't and I don't you... fuck with the cold like that. So black. With, yeah. Um. See, you're uh... finding it. You're like, oh, it's in there. It's in there. <laughs> It's just fucking rattling. Can't get that out, Whitey. Yeah. Um, but wait, so so now you come to L.A. first, or you stay in Kentucky and keep doing it? No, I went back home to Arizona. Uh, Arizona. Arizona then came, has a decent scene. Yeah, right? yeah. I came up in Arizona, and then I moved here in 2018. And we're, oh, wow, that's so recent. Yeah, I've only been here. How long have you been doing be, stand-up? Well, I started in 2010. I quit when my brother died in 2013. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Not that you quit. <laughs> I was happy you quit. <laughs> it was your brother I was upset about. It. <laughs> and I didn't that's give that's a, a nervous, hilarious that, laugh. No, it is it. I feel like I should give him a hug. No, no, I know my laugh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, I I didn't get back on stage until 2016. Okay. So you quit for three years. Yeah, that's interesting because I started. So I don't. Yeah, I guess I don't know how long that is. I've been going strong since 2016. Okay, I started in 20, uh, 20, 2007. Fuck, my brain is dead. Is when you started. Yeah, and, but you're like fuck wrestling. Fuck wrestling. Well, I was trying to be an actress, and that was the only job I got. Let's not get into that. So, <laughs> and they're like, hello. yeah, you walk in, you're like uh-huh. this. They're like wrestler. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, I had my old Meryl Streep monologue prepared. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> tears in my eyes. This isn't fucking infection. This is me swelling up. Uh, anyway, so uh, well, what I'm saying is I started, then my sister passed, I'll top you, in yeah. 2012. Ooh. And I. But you kept going or you stopped? I, my brother told me not to. He said You're, my sister wouldn't like that if I wow. stopped. Wow. No one told me that. I remember. <laughs> I remember being like, I can't do this, feeling like yeah, you're yeah. saying. And then uh, my sister was way funnier than I could ever dream of being. Her friends actually came. My brother to was see way me. fucking funnier, right? Isn't that than crazy? me. My brother, my mom thinks it's crazy that I do comedy because I was so shy. Um, and my brother was like the so fucking. You're kind of living for him. Is that what it is? That's what I do for my sister. I feel is that God? I don't believe but i <laughs> <laughs> but i believe in my sister and i, I remember yeah. all her friends came to see me perform in philly and they go you're good your sister was hilarious oh damn <laughs> <laughs> oh you're good that's good your yeah. sister ah. and i go that that just made my sister's heart sing. yeah like, yeah i could just see her being like hey yeah. Yeah, bitch, i told she you said. like <laughs> listen to my snare <laughs> So you quit three years, come back 2016, you're like, fuck it, I got to go. And we'll fucking went for it. Full in. Mm -hmm. And then what about here? How long have you been coming to the comedy store and trying to get a showcase? Oh, I mean. that's I, not the easiest thing to do. You know, I actually, I started getting up at the comedy store my third week of living here. I met I met Adam Egan and I didn't know who he was. Mm -hmm. I just saw he you were mean to him and he was like, "Oh, I'm so hard." No, no, no. I, no, no, I I was wearing uh, he was Hi, wearing Adam. he was wearing a vest with all these patches of bands so on it. So gay. And yeah. I was like, always been. And I was like, mm -hmm. "Dude, you're a Sonic Youth fan." I didn't oh, know who he was. Adam. And then and then uh, he goes, "Yeah, you know, we just started talking." And then he goes, "Well, my name's Adam. I'm the uh, talent coordinator here." And I was like. <laughs> Right on, man. Hell yeah. I was like, you cool. have a good day. Sonic Youth. Yeah, I, I didn't know what, because uh, we don't have that back home. We don't have like a talent. Not really. Corner. Yeah. Like, like you just, if you get good but you know, cool like with the Casey manager. you know, like and all those yeah, guys. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you get you, cool. Yeah. And then I saw, I ran into Adam again, started talking music with him again. And, and he's from, he started there at the yeah, end. That's what, he, that's what he told me. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And then he goes, uh, we were talking music. He goes, where'd you say you were from? I said, oh, I'm from Arizona. And he goes, oh, I, I, I worked at Tempe Improv for years. And he goes, I was like, oh, I, you know, I was like, so you know Casey Courier? He goes, yeah. Mm -hmm. I go, I go, that's like my mentor or whatever. Casey Casey. Yeah. And then he was like, he goes, uh, he goes, I don't have any spots this week, but why don't you come by on Monday I'll, and I'll throw you up. And I was like, cool, man. Come and I didn't really, Adam. and I didn't really know much about the comedy store. Like, I didn't know it was like a wow. process. I, I knew of the comedy store and like how you know the the whole tradition of it and, so you, know, you come but, to LA you're like I'm just gonna find clubs like you yeah, didn't know the improv no, the store the laugh no. factor all like, I knew all I knew was work ethic I know that was tight that you better fucking that's clip, clip that one uh, <laughs> clip, no clip, clip. all I knew was work ethic it's got worth it yeah. work ethic <laughs> so then uh, should have stayed a cheerleader so then he <laughs> so then he put me up mm -hmm. on on the Monday. Or no, I came in and I still was trying to talk music with him. I was like, yo, man, have you ever listened to blah, blah, blah? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he goes, you're, you're about to go up. And I was like, okay, cool, cool. He goes, uh, just do three minutes. You see the light right there? That's a minute, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I go up and you know I do really good. Mm -hmm. And I walk off the stage and I was like, hey, man, thanks for that uh, opportunity. And I started walking away. He goes, hey, where are you going? And I was like, uh, he, he was like, I want, you I want you to come back here and, and do this again. And I was like, oh, for real? And I was like, okay, cool. And then it wasn't until then that I actually, that someone told me after the fact, they're like, do you know who he is? And I was like, oh, not a clue. I was like, I was like, he just said he was the talent coordinator and the guy gave me an opportunity. We're talking about Adam Egan. Yeah. And I was like, the guy just gave me an opportunity to perform. But let and me then, just time out and catch Rick up for a second. Yeah. Yeah. And we got to wrap this up. We will. Heart out, is Sonic what Youth. Is the reason he got spots here, yeah. fucking Adam. Right? That's it. So we're a pro he's a problem, but he also well, started. Well, I showed him my Iggy Pop tattoo that I have right here that says Raw Power. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> so Adam gave him spots for this, but oh, before that, that's like well, the, that's like the black eye equivalent of wearing well, buttons on the right denim yeah. jacket. Oh, yeah, go ahead. You're just gonna go on. I'm just gonna oh, pass right. you anyway oh, because you're right. right. I'm, I'm, I'm terrible. <laughs> things are great. Oh damn, yeah, things are Adam, terrible. Did you, you like... know he was a fucking cheerleader? Whoa, you missed that one, Rick. You knew that? No, yeah, I I assumed. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just said he seems like one of them dudes that people are like, you know what? Rah, rah. He's, he's gets to look up chick skirts. I and, did. And basically finger buttholes. He just, he told me he would do this spin move. Not with a basketball. Know, fuck, just with the girl. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Like, just tap See, her. that's the thing. When and you're she, a serious girl, Come on, Clarissa. <laughs> you got it. Harlem Globetrotters. Clarissa, Globe Clarissa uh, she's our girl. She my <laughs> God. And, and she's just spraying people down like the front row at a Gallagher concert. Oh, oh God. I thought we were supposed to make comedy store references. <laughs> we, were, we were. Rest in peace, one of the Gallaghers. Uh, well, thank you. Thank yeah, you so much. Where can on. people find you? It's fucking, uh, uh, yeah. Any cheerleading? You can see me walking around Pro Mid cheer City. Events. You can mm -hmm. see me walking around Mid yeah. City. I'm always around there. Idiot. Oh, and I'm just kidding. Instagram is the only thing I fucking care about. Really? I, yeah, okay. I fucking hate everything so much. I'm with so you. Much. I hate I'm all looking, of I'm it. like, everything could eat a dick. I'm like, uh, I'll figure it out. You know, like I just, if I just you want to follow Napster. me, follow me. He yeah. just got Napster. So we'll see how this goes. I'm in a don't world tell Metallica. Web. I'm in a World Wide Web. <laughs> Metallica, don't worry. There's no chance. Yeah, find me at www.chappellac.com for fucking tour dates. Iggy Pop, put down the weights and look at his chest, huh? Come on, man. Damn. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, this lighting's great on me. Hell yeah. Ugh. It never really is because, you know, I got, I got yeah. the skin tone. But. Me, I'm, I look like a, you could see through me. It's just, <laughs> they could see the infection in my <laughs> <laughs> Instant uh, love. Instant love. All right, you're the best. Give Chappelle oh, Lacey a follow. Not really, but he's a cheerleader, <laughs> and um, we're going to remake I mean, Cheer Camp. I, I'm yeah, excited I would about say you're, this. You're top six right now. I'll take top six. I'll Easy. take top six. Yeah. I'll take top six. That's not bad. One of our faves. Yeah. yeah. So no are you guys just saying that because I'm here? No, literally no argument. If I if I watch well, uh, an episode, if I watch the episodes before me and you're like, yo, top six, oh, <laughs> Jamar ones, neighbors, do the uh, ones top after. six, <laughs> do the ones after, <laughs> so yeah. you, you can hear what we really say about you. What would be even better is if he went through and we were just like on. We have a consistent streak of being honest you're probably 123 <laughs> why would we even have him on the podcast so we, we couldn't get anyone we well, we're 123 is my birthday D damn whoa rick's good rick's Man, good see this is part of my psychic thing that mm -hmm. i'm really tapping into now i love this well that hard out is two All minutes right. late oh Guys, sorry All thanks right. for being here we love you thanks for checking it out uh tune in like you can subscribe. see this on Friendster, <laughs> Napster, Grinder. Uh, we're doing it on Grinder now. That's what only I think. fans. It's a different. Uh, I it's going to be a different out. shot, but you can see the under the camera podcast <laughs> angle. Uh, it's really these it's are all facts, people. At. You heard about the black dicks being bigger at the beginning of the episode. Right. Let's see if the truth is there. You know, bigger and better. Oh. oh. Um, all right. Thank you guys for listening. The Brought to you is... by Jello Pudding Pops. They got to get someone to advertise for them. Speaking it's going to be us. Speaking of black cocks. Have a good night. Bye. <laughs>